Hello guys, this is Siddharth Saratka and welcome back to your own channel, Explore Electronics. I hope in my previous all the videos, I have covered all the types of transducers, which I think is important. If you guys want me to make video on any other transducer, then let me know in the comment section. And for now, we will be taking one of the most interesting topic of control system that is open loop and closed loop system. So without wasting much of your and my time, let's begin with the topic. So let's talk about each section one by one. So according to the definition of open control loop, any physical system which does not automatically correct the variation in its output is called an open loop system or another way of defining it is that the output quantity has no effect upon the input quantity are called open control systems or in open loop systems the changes in output are corrected by changing the input manually we all are surrounded with n numbers of example like an electric cloth dryer depending upon the amount of clothes or how wet they are a user or operator would set a timer to say 30 minutes and at the end of the 30 minutes the dryer will automatically stop and turn off even if the clothes are still wet or dry so from this example we can conclude that the clothes dryer would be an open loop system as it does not monitor or measure the condition of the output signal which is the dryness of the cloth then the accuracy of the drying process or success of drying the cloth will depend upon the experience of the user and all this thing is said to be a non-feedback system so after talking that much about open loop system you all must have got a little bit idea of what is a closed system so it is a system in which the output has an effect upon the input quantity in order to maintain the desired output value are called closed loop system the closed loop system is also named as automatic control system or a feedback system just by adding few elements let's take an example consider a electric cloth dryer from the previous example suppose we used a sensor or transducer to continually monitor the temperature or dryness of the clothes and feed a signal relating to the dryness back to controller so this block diagram hopefully clears all the doubt and will help you to understand more clearly just have a look we also can define all this by a traffic control system as an open loop system the sequence of control signals are based on a time slot given for each signal the system will not measure the density of the traffic before giving the signals but in a closed loop traffic control system the density of traffic is measured on all sides and the info is fed to a computer and after that timings of control signals are decided by the computer based on the density of traffic so you can look around and find n number of examples of open and closed system and do comment an open and closed loop system after all it's up to you that how you will look around the world so let's quickly see the advantages of open loop and closed loop system starting with open loop system number one we have it is simple and economical number two it is easier to construct and number three generally the open loop systems are stable now coming on to the closed loop systems we have number one they are more accurate Number two, they are more stable than open loop and number three, they are less affected by noise. After that, let's talk about few of its disadvantages. In open loop system, we have number one, it is inaccurate and unreliable. So we have here two points, inaccuracy and unreliability. Number two, the changes in the output due to the external disturbance are not corrected automatically. Now under closed loop systems, we have number one, it is complex and even costly. Number two, the feedback in the closed loop system may lead to an oscillate, oscillatory response. And number three, the feedback reduces the overall gain of the system. So in short, we are getting a reduced gain in that particular thing. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you all have enjoyed a lot as today you learned something new. And if you think you have added something new to your knowledge library, then make sure you hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel and one more thing my friend has just got some new stuff in his channel so i 
want you all to check his channel i have given the link in the description below and i'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye